Okay guys, this is all our leftovers or basically this is what we have in our fridge. But we got some sweet potato, some asparagus, broccoli, lemon, chivas I think, chivas, chivas, I don't know what they're called, chivas I think, sour cream, some spice mix, red cabbage, cabbage, spring onions I believe is the name, and then we got some cheese. The herbs that I'm gonna use is salt, pepper as well, cumin and chili flakes. Let's get to it. One of the things that I always struggle with with Jon is to have him eat salad. But I have come to learn that whenever I just roast the salad, he'll eat it. Are you ready to see how we make the roasted stuff? First we got the asparagus here and you are not supposed to eat the, the end of them. So what you actually just do is that you bow them and then they will break at the point that should be trashed. So I'm just gonna do that with all of them. So this is what we wanna use from the asparagus. Because they're going in a salad, so obviously you want them to be chopped. Broccoli! So I'm just gonna cut this big piece off so that they will be all crispy out here and there's not too much of the of the root. So what I really want here is to have them cut into like not too big pieces but not too small either because I still want some texture in them when they have been baked. The potato is coming into cubes. We are now prepared to make our marinade for all these yummy stuff that is going in the oven. And I always marinate them separately because I don't want the broccoli to stick to my <laughs> sweet potato. So what I'm gonna use is some oil and a lot of salt. Always use a lot of salt. That's what makes it crispy along with the oil. Chili flax. And you just use as many chili flakes as you wish to. Never forget the pepper. Just shake it. No, you stir it actually. Actually, I just decided on putting some garlic powder in as well. Before we do anything, we need to set the oven 200 degrees, <laughs> 200 degrees Celsius. And I don't know, hot air? I don't know what you call it. Like in Denmark you would say, if I translate it from Danish, it's hot air, but it looks like this. That. Put your delicious sweet potatoes on. Look at these babies. So I'm just gonna let the oil soak in while I prepare some meat. So when you use a lot of greens and there is some waste of it, you should actually save it so you can cook a funk for a nice sauce or glass or something. I have this like marinade, the leftovers of that as well. So I'm just gonna put it down here. And then later on, we'll see how much there is and I will boil it. I remove all the greens again. I will reduce the rest and use it as a glass, but not today, another day. Okay, so for these stuffed chicken, I'm gonna do like a little something something to put in them and this that's gonna be based on this lovely cheese so basically i'm gonna chop some cheese i'm gonna chop some garlic use some chili and some of this basically just the text mix this is not very optimal that you don't have what you call it those where you put the garlic in and then you just smash them and then they become perfectly smashed. Now I have to do everything myself. Onion and garlic shells can come in the bowl of funk. Don't worry, all the garbage, all the leftovers or throwouts for your greens can come in this bowl. This one is the hot one. This is what we are gonna stuff the little birdie with. So I slice them up like this. So not all the way, just like half the way. So I don't think this is actually made for this purpose, but so now they are in here and they look 
all right not that beautiful but they're all right so i did use this cooking spray just so they don't stick more salt so now i'm gonna put everything in the oven for 20 minutes because all the greens is only gonna have 20 minutes and then we're gonna put the chickens back in again everything is going in the oven while everything is in the oven we're gonna cut our red cabbage it's already been washed but i always remove one piece before i wash it and one piece after i wash it and i don't know if there's any point of it but it doesn't go to waste because it's going in this bowl as well so i like it very 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 thinly sliced so i don't know how many people use this technique but actually if you hold your fingers like this or whatever you're cutting the knife will go with your fingers down without cutting them so if you chop very fast the risk of accidentally cutting down to your finger is minimal so here it is and it is quite thin just like we want it to be I'm just gonna put it in this I still want the salad to be a bit fresh just squeeze half a lemon into the big bowl it doesn't matter if some of the pulse come in and I will just chop up the spring onions as well the reasons why I love spring onions is because they do add some dimension to to the food but still it's not like it has such a strong and powerful taste that it ruins the taste of all the other ingredients let's check our greens you can almost tell how incredible crispy all these are can't you so now it's just time for waiting for the greens to cool off and for the chicken to have another 10 15 minutes Wait. all our greens are cooled down now so are you ready to put stuff in here look how yummy it is so here we got our sweet potatoes it's so colorful i love it and our asparagus and finally the popcorn chips mix it together with your fingers so this is now ready to be served but we definitely need a little something something for our chickens and therefore i will make like a super super easy dressing Creme fraiche, a little bit of cumin, garlic, and a slightly bit chili. Well, this is basically an everyday healthy meal. So it's not that it's anything fancy that you should serve to your guests if you're having a dinner party. It's more like what you should eat on a daily basis. Foodie, foodie, foodie. This is what this woman does best cooking. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm, I'm, even, I'm not even exaggerating this. You sure? Like, yeah, I'm okay. sure. Like lately you have just outdone yourself. Whether it'll be breakfast or whatever, it's just so good. So this is what we eat. And this is how I cook. If you wanna have some more advanced recipes, let us know. Yeah, catch you on the flippity flop. Bye-bye.